Over the summer, we are planning for students to return back to the school building and kicking start a new year with all of our students welcome back five days a week. And we were thinking about the challenges that they're coming with. And we were thinking about all of the effects that the pandemic has had on the students and the families. And one night I was reading the story of the dot. And when I was reading this to my daughter, I was thinking, this is just like what we need to be doing for our students. We need to be meeting them where they are. And if that is just making one dot on the paper, then that's where they start. And we're gonna to continue to push them, inspire them to grow and to continue with their learning. I feel proud. Um, when I come in in the morning, it's the first thing that I see. I mean, it's a constant reminder that each one of those dots represents one of our students and our charge that we all matter and our drive this year to make a mark and do our absolute best to try to close some of the learning gaps that were established because of COVID-19 and us having different types of learning last year. I love it because it's kind of a great representation of what each of our individual students, um, how, what they add to, to our family, to our Perry Hall family, and kind of all together how neat a tapestry it can make. And so I guess each individual dot was really beautiful, but when you put them together, it's really quite amazing to see. It shows that everybody is included and it represents, and it kind of represents unity, that we're all together in one project. I feel like everybody's a class family in this school. You know, it's, it's just been a beautiful experience to watch them creating their dots. And then um, when we had our day with our teachers on September 8th, and we actually experienced putting those dots together, it was just a time for us to come together and show that unity. Um, and so my goal is to continue with projects like this every year.